For this lesson, I'm working in Project 0201, working with the project panel. You can access that project file with the media that comes with this lesson. Just double click on it to open it up in Premiere Pro. The project panel is where you'll import, locate, find, organize, and preview your clips. Let's get a little more familiar with this important part of the Adobe Premiere Pro interface. At the bottom left corner of the project panel, we have this list view and icon view. If I switch to the icon view, I'm getting a thumbnail representing the contents of this master sequence. We can see that over here in the timeline panel as well. Back in the list view, I'm going to expand this bin called media. I'm just going to click on the disclosure triangle there. And now you can see we've got quite a few clips already imported into this project. At the bottom of the project panel, there's a navigator. And if I click and drag along, you can see quite a bit of information about these clips. Here, for example, the video info heading is giving me the image resolution of these clips. If you click on a heading, Premiere Pro will sort the items in the project panel based on that heading. Here I'm clicking on the name heading and it's reversing the sort order. See the direction of this little simplified arrow. I'll click again and now we're back into regular alphabetical order. I'm going to double click on this media bin to open it in its own floating panel. And remember, bins in Premiere Pro have the same controls as the project panel. So I can switch this to the icon view as well. At the bottom left, I have the option to change the size of these thumbnails. I can make them really pretty big. And I'm going to resize this panel. So you can see that each of these can become a kind of a source window for you to check out your contents. If I hover the mouse over a thumbnail, I get a preview where the left edge is the beginning of the clip and the right edge is the end. It's a very quick way to see the contents of your clips. This feature in Premiere Pro is called Hover Scrub. If I single click to select a clip rather than double clicking, which would open it in the source monitor, I get a mini timeline, a little indicator of where I am in the clip. I can click this mini playhead and drag it to different positions. And I can use the space bar to play back and stop. I should note that these clips have been renamed to make them a bit easier to find. And that's also useful for searching. At the top of the bin, there's a search field. And you can type anything you like in here to find clips that match the text you type. So if I type in the word kids, you can see all the other clips are hidden and only this clip with the word kids in the name remains. I'm going to click the X here to clear that search field so we can see the rest of the clips. If I close the bin as well and hide the contents of this bin by clicking the disclosure triangle right next to the name here in the project panel, you'll see that the same feature works. In fact, it'll reveal clips that would otherwise be hidden. If I type in the word kids, well, I don't even need to make it to the end of the word. You can see that the clip has been displayed. And in fact, the sequence has been hidden. Any item at all in the project panel that does not match the search will be hidden. I'll just clear that search field again. So that's an introduction to the project panel in Adobe Premiere Pro.